That's it. Well, we got lots of stuff going on, man. I know, you know, the event is a week and a half away, two weeks away. Yep. People are making plans. We did a big push to get some tickets just to get everybody kind of loaded in here. Um, you know, it's it's exciting, dude. We're sitting at uh, right over 200 people right now. The goal is to get close to 300 here. So it's, awesome. you know, this is the go time. And um, as always, when people start asking me stuff, they're asking me questions about other things they can get involved with. They're asking about content that we're covering. Uh, you know, you and I and Sean had a had a discussion, geez, how long ago was it? Probably like three weeks ago about what we're doing in video, right? I, I can't even keep up with the numbers right now, dude. I think between, I think he's had more stuff hit. You've had more stuff hit. I've been, I've been silent because we're trying to get this event in lock. But I think yeah. right now the team collectively between the three of us has over, I started with 100, dude. I would be fair to say over 200 million impressions, meaning likes, shares, views comments and then followers collectively across all five major social platforms facebook linkedin instagram youtube twitter is that yeah. fair 200 do dude i don't even know i mean I, i've been reading i mean all of sean's stuff says 800 million by himself so i don't know man because his stuff got shared so much and it's uh there's no way to count man it's crazy it's crazy i did there's a ton of stuff you know, so in all of the stuff that was coming in one of the things that we get asked a lot are kind of the specifics on what it is we do like how do you do that like what does that look like yeah and what we've been able to do is we're going to put we put together a full a full locked and loaded agenda video master class where where Tyler and Sean and I are going to go over tools and the blueprint and the process to how we've done what we've done from a very tactical level right yeah. so tools tactics assets um, specific things you could do with your personal brand, whether you're building your personal brand and your business or your business or independently. Right? There's a ton of stuff that, you know, when you look at the hits that we've got, I think between the three of us, if we're, let's just say it's over 200 million, if it's over 200 million, a big part of that is organic. Like, I mean, we're not buying a bunch of ads and selling stuff. That's just organic content. So we wanted to put together something um, where each of us kind of falls in our lane in our specialty and then give that back to people that are coming in so we can review a, an action plan so people can come in and actually get the tactics. And actually, we're going to do some filming in the studio as well. What do you think about all that, dude? Dude, I love it, man. Like, I mean, if, if somebody wants to come to an event and get the, the rah-rah and get motivated, get inspired and, and leave and, and not really have anything that they can actually implement, then there's plenty of events for that, <laughs> right? And, and yeah. so like what we wanted to do from day one was uh, to create something where you can leave with tangible assets. Like you can leave with something where, you know, that Monday you've got tools that you know that you can implement to help build your personal brand and help bring in revenue and help take your, um, your, all of your social media to the next level. And so I'm excited, man, because this is stuff that can actually change someone's branding overnight, uh, which is exciting. So as you're talking about the stuff that you've done, I mean, you got a team, you're using apps. I mean, you and I talk every day about the different things that we're doing. People that don't know your story, when you started to leverage social media and video, when did you start using, you know, to really kind of capture what it is you do? Yeah, so very first post, I uh, remember like it was yesterday, it was January 11th of 2017. So, I mean, we're coming up on 18 months, but hadn't even been 18 months yet. Um, I did a uh, keynote a couple of weekends ago, so I actually tallied it up beforehand. And I've posted something around 1,320, 1,330 uh, videos since January 11th of 2017. Um, it's a lot of videos. Uh, I think it's like somewhere around 3,600. It's over 3,600 total posts in 18 months. Um, but that's a lot of videos. And so we've kind of figured out some things, what what kind of hits, what, what misses. And, uh, you know, ultimately... We think we have a lot of a lot of value we can bring, especially as we've stepped into this whole vlogging world. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we can uh, provide as far as insights on, you know, what works, what doesn't work. Um, because some of that, quite frankly, to me was surprising. Some of the stuff that that got the best results wasn't the most professionally made, wasn't the most expensive production it was some of the stuff that we're doing in the car on the fly uh, but there's specific ways that we go about doing those things where yeah it's on the fly but it's still a little bit of an ele elevated um, professional standard I guess you would say than just you know selfie in the face 
Um, so we'll talk about a lot of that and little things like lighting uh, that it doesn't have to be professional studio quality lighting. There have been times where TJ and I have been in the hotel room and we're using all the different lamps from in the room, but it's how we set up those lamps based on where I'm sitting, where someone's sitting there looking like, man, what is this? Are you in some kind of professional studio? I'm like, no, I was sitting on the air conditioning unit <laughs> in a hotel in front of a curtain with some lamps. Yeah, in, a six, in a Motel <laughs> 6, in a Motel 6, in the middle of nowhere with no internet. Dude, there was a time there was a time where we ran to Walmart to get like an old school like trifold like you did your science project on when you were in elementary school and we set that behind me nice and black and did some videos right in front of it and it came across super professional but people don't realize it was a $2 trifold from Walmart. <laughs> One of the things I have here in the office, I don't want to reveal all the magic because my office right now, I've been home in a week, but my, uh, my office is a, uh, is a disaster right now. But if you look, like this is a prime example, like I'm going to plug this here. That's a, that ring light's 60 bucks. If you look behind yeah. it, it's kind of hard to see that. That little closet area that's in my office is literally a drop cloth I got from Walmart that yeah. you'd paint like on the floor. And uh, my roller did with like uh, just like a base coat, a white base, white coat, and then went over with a black can of spray paint and then rolled it in some blue. And <clears throat> literally just because of the texture, the wrinkles and the, I did it on rocks in my backyard. And you can see all of the different stuff and the textures. That whole thing yeah. cost me probably 20, 30 bucks, right? Yeah. The lighting and the whole setup, the rig's less than a hundred bucks. And it just, it differentiates. So this is the kind of stuff that we're going to be talking about. I'd love to have TJ maybe chime in while we're doing stuff. Yeah. from a production perspective maybe there's some production hacks that he can bring to the table yeah. and um love to have you dude I, you're gonna be there anyway filming but I, i'd love to get i think um this is a great time for you to shine as a team there's a lot of stuff that you do behind the scenes yeah. on you know editing hacks and quick you know quick places to get music and beats and you know filters and that kind of stuff it's yeah. you know, a lot of a lot of us uh we do it ourselves we don't have a full team so understanding where some of those resources are it really helps us set our content up it sets it sets, um, helps set our content aside from everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. There's there's stuff that I've learned um, just over over the last eighteen months combining apps. Where whether yeah. it's an Instagram story that you're creating, but people are asking you like, man, how did you get your Instagram stories to look so professional? I'm like, it's just really taking video that we've already created and, and throwing it in a couple of different apps, uh, putting it in a vertical um, format and then posting it on there. But here's how you do that. Go to this app, then go to this app, then you put it in this app, then you chop it up into 15 second clips with this app and then you post it on there. And uh, a lot of that stuff can look studio quality, uh, literally while sitting on the toilet with your phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of looking through feeds, you can be making your own content. That's what I do it, man. Yeah, I've created 14,265 pieces of content in 14 years, but 10,000 came in the last two years, right? You're going to surpass that. So it's, it's one of those things where, you know, that quality content plus consistency works. Now let's talk about the tools to use. When I'm on the page, I put the link in here for people, but um, to get an idea as to what we're doing, you're, you're going to learn how to, how to create studio quality videos using your phone, overcoming some of those insecurities and anxieties of being on camera. One of the biggest questions I get asked when we start to talk about video is a, a couple things. People are going to listen to me and I don't know what to say and how do I get started we're going to go through all of that and break down some of those mental walls. And it really starts with just doing, but giving you an, a, a process. And we're going to go through and help you blueprint each of what it is you need to do for your specific business. Um, understanding how to build a digital distribution strategy. So taking one video like this and slicing it up into 10 or 15 assets native for each of the social media change or chains, how to build a value statement. So, you know, as an entrepreneur or business owner, you're good at what you do, but are you good at telling others what it is you do in an engaging way that pre-qualifies those that you want to work with you? So we're going to talk through some business strategy stuff and then how to build an audience, right? And then how to tell that story. In the process of this too, we're going to have the film crew there and we're going to do um, a handful of assets, video assets you're going to walk away with. Uh, so you're able to leave with a ton of stuff as well as the apps, the tools, the blueprints from you know three guys that are doing it. We don't talk about it. These are tactics. Uh, this won't yep. be a a high level strategy session. This is going to be a roll up your sleeves. Um, let's get dirty. We're only taking 15 people for this. We're almost full. Um, I think we have five or six slots left. It's the Thursday before the meltdown in the desert. If you're in Phoenix, no time pressure. It's next Thursday. I'm going to announce the studio. We got into a larger studio space. It's in Scottsdale. 
I mean, I'll also have a limo bus that can take people to if you're coming down from the meltdown from the hotel to the space. So you don't have to worry about transportation or any other expenditures. Uh, so we'll post more kind of in the next little while. I want to get it filled and then we'll start to announce what it is and where we are. Um, the next piece around that too is um, we, we adjusted the cost to make sure the cost wasn't the reason. We're not doing this to make money. We're doing this to bring people in. And yeah. I know that if you make an investment, it's serious to you. And you're going to have the three of us for a day. The expenditure to have the three of us in a room for for an eight-hour session is probably 40 grand collectively with a production studio. So we're doing that. At, you know, It's like a couple hundred bucks to come and join us for an entire day. Um, we'll have lunch and all kinds of fun stuff around it. Put the link in. Um, this is a great opportunity, man. I wish coming up we had this kind of stuff. So it's you know it's, it's a way for for Tyler and I um, and Sean are always looking for ways to give back to our communities and people that are you know investing their time watching our content. How can you now go do what it is that we do? Um, you know, to put some money into it, invest some time, and come in and hang out with us. Yeah, man. There's there's a huge misconception in building a brand on social media, and it comes from a lack mentality, and that is that we're all competing for the same eyeballs. And what I love is getting a couple of people in a room uh, that are willing to teach, but then will bring an insane amount of value to show you exactly what we're doing. Like, like nothing, nothing's hidden, uh, nothing um, is left, uh, no stone left unturned. We're going to show you exactly how we've done what we've done, uh, so that you can go out and do that for you. And and understanding that it's all about abundance. That there's not one piece of pizza that you, when you're taking it, that's a piece that I can't have. Like we're about all about this freaking pizza factory out here, and knowing that there's unlimited pizza for everybody. And uh, the fact that you're going to be able to leave with assets, like leave with a video and no not only I've got the tools but here's something that I can show that I learned from it it's just gonna take everybody's game to the next level um, and ultimately when we're all consuming content as well I just want to see better content right like I want to see right. people's content uh, elevate and it's kind of one of those high tide raises all ships that's exactly why I'm gonna be there because I want to see everybody's game elevated that's right um, we have a, a special announcement I'll put this out there and I'm gonna tag him if we can get him here I know he's on the road um, we got a good friend of ours. His name is Alex Brown. Um, Alex and Chris Stoikos started the Dollar Beer Club together. And they also have a, an event that they call um, Unconscious Content or Conscious Content that is about their strategy on disruption in video for what they've done with Dollar Beer Club. Wow. So if you haven't seen Dollar Beard Club stuff, go just go YouTube it or go to Facebook and look up Dollar Beard Club and you can see their viral ads. Um, yeah, they don't spend a ton of money and those videos get hundreds of millions of views. Yeah. So Chris is um, on the road and I'm trying, if he's on the West coast, we're going to have him come in and probably sit in with us for, for you know, for a couple hours during this session. Right. So not only are you going to have the three of us, we might even have a couple extra special guests that are friends that are going to be in town for the meltdown that are going to want to stop in anyway and share. Uh, you, know, the, yeah. you hit it on the head, dude. We roll with a really cool group of people that um, even if we're in some of the same industries, we're kind of not, we all do something kind of different. But it's, um, it's not co-opetition or competition. It's, hey, man, what are you doing that works? Cool. Here's what I do that works. My story is not your story, dude. My expertise is not yours, and yours is not mine. I don't sell insurance sure. policies, and I'm not Sean. I don't do coaching stuff. It's, we all do something different, but the formula is the same regardless of your personal brand or your business. Um, we've got some Fortune five, uh, 500 executive marketing people from the marketing firms are coming down all the way to – you know, somebody who's just trying to figure out how to build their personal brand. It's going to be a really cool mix of people. Very cool, man. I'll tell you, my dude, well, I appreciate you jumping in, man. I know we're trying to do this a couple different ways. Absolutely. Um, I got to get back to it. I got to get my book goes to print today. So I got to get everything awesome. into Amazon here before five. I'm going to do that. And then uh, we're, it's, we're in operations mode for the meltdown. So we cannot wait to see you, man. I know that um, I've been on the road a little bit with my man, Tyler, and then spent some time with yep. Sean. And we're all just, there's so much stuff going on. To get us all together here next week in the Arizona, dude, just gives me chills. It's like a big reunion, so I'm stoked to see you guys again. It really is, man. I'm excited. It's like the uh, it's like the whole gang's getting together. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, people are going to learn a lot, but they're going to learn just by being around the culture and just by experience. It's it's it really is an experience when you get around these people and you can just soak in all this knowledge, but just kind of understand that like. You're there too, and you're just, you're no different than any one of us. It's just some of us have implemented these tools that we'll be teaching and have gone all in on it. And so someone can come in there completely fresh and get the tools that they need to go all in, and then next year they'll be at the exact same level, which is exciting. I'll get on stage and doing their own conferences, man. It's, it's one of those things where I'll, I'll leave with this. 
I spent probably this year alone close to $30,000 on events, uh, on attending events and masterminds and coaching sessions. Um, I know you're right up there too. I know that uh, last year I did right around 20 grand too. And it was one of those things where I want to surround myself with those who have the skill sets I'd like to acquire to help me get better. You know, Tom Bilya last year, at last, uh, last year's meltdown in the desert, there's a clip on the highlight reel. I think you could find it that says, you know, you're as good as you're going to ever be right now. Hmm. Like, this is it. You're as healthy and as smart and as wise and as wealthy. Like, this is it for you. And if you're okay with that, then cool. But if you're not, you need to fill your brain with more information. Information in equals ideas out. You know, when yeah. somebody says something so much, you're going to get a tattooed. It's like that. There's a big <laughs> statement there. So make that investment. You come in, you learn, you're around people. Um, and just like you said, dude, some of the best conversations actually happen at the hotel after everybody's yeah. done. Like, it's just that camaraderie. So um, I put the link in below. You know where to find me. You know where to find Tyler. You know where to find uh, Sean Whalen. We're here. You can't, we're, we're everywhere. So um, if you have any questions, yeah. pop them in the comments or shoot uh, one of us a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I absolutely can. And um, with that, my friends, I appreciate you joining. Any closing words, brother? That's it, man. TJ's also going to be teaching a whole breakout on how to record content while in the handstand position. So if you're coming for anything, just come for that. So uh, He'll teach, teach you how to film content without your shirt on and not let it be an adult <laughs> yes. film. does not always have to yeah. be an adult film with TJ shirtless. <laughs> Love it, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, Look forward to seeing you.